what we'll do is what i'll do is i'll show you certain scenarios then allow you time you have a conversation with your group members decide on some conclusions write them down give it to the representative who gives it to me simple everybody understands that so i'll show you a, a i'll give you a certain number of questions you process those questions as a group this is the difference you need to learn how to work in a group i know the seating arrangement is not very ideal but try your best okay once you conclude the representative needs to have a piece of paper with my answers on it so bish okay let's start right group activity so now is the activity group 1 2 3 4 be active now there are two activities one is we will go through certain scenarios we will which will check your knowledge of these concepts so we'll be looking at some clinical stuff but the baseline physiology is of compliance and elastics and the second group of conditions which we'll see the base concept is work of breathing okay you will understand as we go along okay but you now cease to be as individuals you are now one with the group right if you fail the group fails that's how it is just a revision for those who are not with the program these are the terms these are their definitions we've covered them already this is the same slide basically what is it compliance is a measure of distensibility we know this elastance is a measure of recoil okay work of breathing i i dedicated a very significant chunk of the last lecture to work of breathing i don't want to go into that i hope you have you've studied it we will see so work of breathing is a is a measure of airway resistance and normally the lung is a well oiled machine which only expends less than 3% of the total energy uh, ie the compliance elastance and work of breathing are put together in such a way that not a huge amount of effort is expended or required to expand this lung and the and the expiration basically happens passive this is a normal lung it's nicely distendable good compliance recoil is kept in check work of breathing kept in check with this information let's dive in you will get about 10 minutes per activity so please watch the time I work as a group take papers out pencils out and turn on your brains right so you need to work out on these six things how pehle sun lo taaki samajh aaye karna kya hai so one is this is compliance versus elastic so you have to comment on compliance and elastics in this thing called pulmonary fibrosis which i have been talking about off and on pulmonary hypertension i haven't mentioned work it out decrease surfactant we have just done it. these three normal aging normal age as you as you progress through age the lung becomes whatever comment on compliance versus elastics asthma and finally mfc you have 10 minutes so i need these six answered for compliance and elastics you're supposed to work up work it out not google it out use of technology is not allowed not in this scenario so first observation listen up first observation it's it's a different experience isn't it working on something however uh, difficult the seating arrangement may be but you did try and i appreciate that that's the only positive comment really the second ha uh, the the second point observation is uh, i forgot to mention don't cheat <laughs> it's really my fault i should have clarified don't cheat okay this is a preparatory thing okay inshallah in your exams 
you will not have the facility to call a relative like in those game shows or look at your phone or help a colleague no we we usually don't allow that you are on your own on that number 3 the group representatives obviously this is the first time and it's a, a huge responsibility uh i had envisaged that there will be a nice neat single paper where they agreed upon consensus on the six things what i am seeing is an atrocity of papers uh lots of papers move flying around so i don't know how this will work out but since it's a competition it has to be interesting okay so now group 1 and 2 will swap these responses amongst each other group 1 ka representative group 2 ko de de aur group 2 apna jo hisab kitab hai wo inko de and group 3 and 4 will do the same okay now you guys go back to your respective groups go back i'll put on the key okay so you can see what the other groups did now remember you have to critically mark not too critically remember you have to critically mark this thing that is in your hand marking aapke hath mein right okay this is the key i will slowly go through it okay now listen up listen up don't don't worry about the marking that, that can come in later pehle samajh lo ke hua kya so this is pulmonary fibrosis we know that it is a restrictive lung disease it's a type the restrictive type of lung disease we have been talking about this the compliance decreases in this uh, group of disorders and the elastins i e the elastic recoil increases that is what defines a restrictive disorder the elastic recoil is too much as compared to normal lung and hence it is a what lung stiff lung it's a stiff lung so this example here is of a stiff lung okay so whoever wrote or whoever thought in in the following terms they are correct number 2 pulmonary hypertension obviously the word hypertension would give you something it's not normal there is too much blood pressure too much pressure of blood inside the lungs now too much blood not normal too much blood can cause congestion what is congestion the blood will start to pool inside the lung which will affect its its distending ability this lung will again have decreased compliance and will tend to not be open which is a which is elastics also directly it doesn't have increased elastics it has decreased compliance due to that congestion that fluid which is sitting in there which will, which is not letting it expand properly surfactant should be very very easy because uh, decreasing surfactant would increase the surface tension forces which will decrease compliance okay and increase elastic so this is the key for all these three uh, topics okay now what about aging with aging remember all of these conditions all of these three things this is the key compliance increases elastance decreases so with age as the old sock example with age the elastic fibers they lax right they are not as taut as they are in a new in a young lung so normally as the as the age of the lung progresses it becomes baggy okay and it's hence it's easy to distend it however it's difficult to contract it relatively speaking it's not copd level but still this is the phenomena because of those laxed fibers remember the old sock versus new sock uh, example asthma for some unknown reason compliance uh, increases and elastins decreases emphysema is again a we end with emphysema is an obstructive uh disorder as opposed to restrictive disorder the good students will immediately try to remember that this was under this group of conditions the ones which had less compliance more elastins and this 
I think we have descri described it a lot. It is under the condition of increased compliance. Which part of compliance? Which type of compliance? Static compliance. So static compliance in FICMA increases. Okay. However, dynamic compliance decreases. Okay. And elastins decreases. Okay. Why does elastins decrease in emphysema? Okay, now, now listen up. This is pretty cool. Uh, not, not, not what happened to the gentleman. He has severe emphysema and this is his uh, pots. You can, you, can, you can observe the chest in a lying down individual. This is that barrel shaped Typical barrel shaped chest of a serious chronic emphysematous patient. Okay, he died of emphysema, of air hunger, and the barrel shaped chest is in emphysema is there because this should you should know now. Why would there be a barrel shaped chest in emphysema? Eventually, a chronic emphysema patient will experience expanded chest. We also call it pigeon shaped chest like pigeons why heart okay. heart heart you air hunger uh, which is uh, yes and oxygen hunger but what how does it make the chest barrel shaped during during Ah, inspiration mein jo air aati hai, usko aap, ex expiration mein you can't breathe it out. Thank you. Hence, that chronic trapping of air, even though accessory muscles of expiration are really being used by this blue bloater or pink puffer? Pink puffer. By this pink puffer, still chronic emphysema of the severest type usually results in air trapping literally restructuring of the alveolar tree in such that the alveoli which look like nice grapes in a healthy lung with each grape distinct they coalesce they combine to become big little balls okay so there is a there is a architectural bad stuff happens to architecture okay and the whole thing just changes as this disease goes along. There's literally breaking of the fibers, the architecture of the lung. On that point, have you heard of the smoker mice? Mice, Of course you have. So in experiments, they exposed smoke uh, on, certain, on a group of mice. Guess what happened to their lungs? They developed emphysema because of cigarette smoke. Because what does cigarette do? The smoke. What the smoke do is when you inhale it, it goes right into the lungs, deeper structures, alveoli, and all that. In chronic for chronic smoking, when you this is an the smoke acts like an injurious agent. So it injures literally, it injures the lining of the inner lung. The more you smoke, the more injury it, it gets done. So what happens when there is a foreign agent which enters the body? How does the body react? <coughs> by coughing, yes. Uh, by inflating the uh, macrophages. Yes, inflammation, Shabash. You've just done blood physiology. So inflammation is that whole cascade that gets triggered by the body. Whenever there is certain, uh, there is an invader smoke in this condition is the invader by the way so the lining of your lungs they start to recruit more leukocytes more macrophages invade or are uh, given a 911 call okay quickly come there is an invader so smokers have a chronic inflammatory situation in the lung is this okay abhi tak theek hai the bad part is a chronic inflammation is never a good thing. Inflammation should be short, sharp and back to normalcy. You get a sore throat, stuff gets inflamed, 
leukocytes come, kill the baddies, and infection is resolved. If it's not resolved by the body, you take some medicines and they do the part of the inflammation, inflammatory markers, and it's done. So this is the nice part of inflammation. However, remember, please, many of the famous diseases have a component of chronic inflammation to them. I don't know if you will remember it, but it will come and hopefully you will connect it. Most of the famous diseases, i.e. the known diseases, have a chronic inflammatory component to them. That is the bad thing of inflammation. So these invading macrophages, they bring along the artillery, the weapons that they have. Normally, the elastic fiber, the elastin fibers in the lungs are intact. But in the smoker, something happens because of that smoke that he is inhaling or she is inhaling. What the smoke does is it triggers an enzyme called the elastase. Elastase. So elastase enzyme normally is present in the lung, but it's inhibited. It's, it's not very active. Smoke through the chronic inflammation, bringing in the macrophages and all that thing now changes the whole scenario and elastase enzyme becomes hyper. When it becomes hyper, it starts to literally chop off the elastin fibers, introducing emphysema. The breakdown of stuff which happens in emphysema, this restructuring that I have been talking about since pro probably the first lecture. Today, we are introducing the molecular events of it. So it's the elastase enzyme which goes out of hand, which then starts to break because it's elastase. It will break elastin fibers. There is also mention of trypsin enzyme. So all of these enzymes are protease group of enzymes. You will read them in biochemistry. So there is protease and anti-protease balance in the normal lung, which is tripped in favor of the proteases by this stuff, smoking, because of that inflammation and all that stuff I just hinted towards. It's a big topic. But I want to just give you enough so that when you actually start reading eventually in medicine, you will understand, ah, this is the protease, anti-protease, trypsin, anti-trypsin balance of COP. Okay. So coming back to the mice, what they did was they got, how did this theory come about? How did they discover it? They had two groups of mice. One group was exposed to uh, normal, they were normal, they were exposed to cigarette smoke. They developed in a certain period of time, they developed emphysema, COPD. The other group, what they did was very clever. Do you know knockout model? Knockout model. So there are animals in which there are, we have now the technology to switch off certain genes. So we literally knock off a gene or two genes or whatever. Now you know that every protein is made by a transcription process of a particular gene. So if, what if in this group of mice, I were to switch off the elastase enzyme. Enzyme is a protein, right? So the gene responsible for making this enzyme, I knocked it off, I disabled. This group of mice will not be able to make the last is enzyme at all. Yes. So when they are exposed to the cigarette smoke, will they develop emphysema or not? They won't. And they did it. Which is a very strong evidence that smoking causes emphysema through this business, this elastase business. Okay knockout or K slash O this you will read, especially the ones who are interested in research. You will read this a lot in genetic studies. Knockout model of animals has 
given us so much insight into so many diseases and it's 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 not stopped it's increasing and opening new uh, new doors okay sorry activity 2 shorter 5 minute same scenario on work of sorry three. we will not do the group activity thing we will do it as a class and me kapish less time more time for having those dirty samosas these are the four things the quicker you answer the the earlier you will leave okay mice experimenter let's start the experiment four scenarios you have 20 seconds work it out okay fine let's solve it now quickly the samosas are waiting pulmonary fibrosis what about work of breathing will it keep be normal will it increase or decrease ab pad lo pad lo aur bhag jao you read it if you don't have a question you can leave 